Yes, I heard a man speaking about the same things you have been speaking about down in Australia named Stan Dio. Do you know that man? Stan Dio? Yes, I've heard of him, but I don't know of him. Are you aware of this asteroid headed toward the Earth? It's really yes, here. Nemesis is uh, called Nemesis. It's a brown star. It's probably hollow. It's maybe not a star at all. It has a specific gravity of a little less than two, 1.718 or something like that, which means it's extremely hollow and light. <clears throat> it has a mass of ten times the size of Jupiter. It is so massive, it's dragging comets and, and meteoritic material with it, and space garbage and debris. It's dragging it at such a rate. Just the debris encircling our solar system enough to destroy half the planets of it. So, yeah, it'll be a threat. It's headed for us right now. Supposedly it'll be here in 2052. Nobody knows for certain, or it'll be within closeness of the Earth. Within 500 million miles, which is plenty close indeed. <clears throat> okay, a few more questions. i got to wrap it up here. This, this lady here. No. You have to use the microphone. Nobody can hear you. Do you correlate the foreign forces with uh, the Soviets? The Soviet forces, the foreign forces, uh, all of us have an alien war going on. Red Chinese right now are getting it in full brunt. The Russians are shooting down per province, there are about nine provinces in their motherland. Uh, they're shooting down at the rate of 50 of these saucers per month and ships. They're heaping piles of them in outer Mongolia, mountains of them. They just tow them out there and let them sit out there. Yeah. Please use the microphone. Nobody can hear you. Does the uh, alien agenda dictate the agenda of the, go of the world globalists right now, the people that want world government? Are yes, they do in, in, in total and in entirety. Are, and are they may even be in charge. And are some of our uh, uh, high-level officials, perhaps from the president on down, are they aware of this? Yes, they are. They're all aware of it. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. What is the name of your book and when will it be out? Well, I have several several names of the book. Basically, I'm calling myself Government Secrets Revealed. Government Secrets Revealed. And uh, please don't handle a picture. I've asked please not to look at the artifacts, but don't handle them. Okay. And the Government Secrets Revealed should be out within two to three weeks at the outset. Yes, sir. Where can you get get this book? Where will uh, it be at? I'll have it. I'll have it in a brochure. I can't tell you right now. Uh, yes, sir. The person behind you, and then the person behind that, and that'll be the. Okay, uh, Phil. Question. I want to say thank you and God bless you for what you're doing. It takes a big man like you to do it, man. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> what I wanted to uh, emphasize here, I'll make it real quick, is that uh, can what can we as humanoids do to? Uh, we're not humanoids, we're humans. Humans, all right. Well, anyway, what can we do to uh, stop this? By doing exactly what we're doing right now. I mean, gathering? We're gathering, listening, and what I'm doing, getting out in the public and talking about it. Okay, uh, also, no, I, I don't fear ridicule. If someone wants to call me a brand X nut, hmm, well, I can't reach that person. I'm sorry for him. Yeah. Uh, I'm well aware of what's going on with the Area 51, and uh, I know that uh, we're capable of going into the future right now and coming back. Can you it please use the microphone, or is the microphone going dead down there? Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm well aware that our country is capable of going into the future right now and coming back through uh, uh, the, uh, the Please technology. make this short. What is your question, sir? Um, what? How far... Can we go into uh, knowing what's happening with the aliens in Area 51? How far? I mean, how far can we get into the knowledge of this? We're already full-fledged into the knowledge of this right now. How far can we go? We can go a lot further. Uh, we have to defeat the alien threat. 
Otherwise, we have no chance at all. There won't be a new world order either. Okay, well, thank you very much. Okay. Let's take this last gentleman here. Did the United States government uh, intentionally enter into an agreement with the aliens back in 1940? Uh, well, let's 1954. see. 1954? 1954. Is, yes, is they intentionally, they knew full well what their capacity was. They intentionally did so, supposedly on the premise that they were buying time to get arranged. And this wasn't true. This was a lie dished out to the public and the people in the know at the time, uh, all the MJ members, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it, it did buy time, but at great cost. As we speak, as I'm speaking, rather, uh, about six million to seven million human beings have been slaughtered by the aliens at the present time. Unaccounted for. And of course, there's a, a thousand lies to say where they went or where they didn't go. Okay. I'm uh, telling you right now that the lies and innuendo not only have to stop, if we don't believe in them anymore, they're going to right. stop, guaranteed. One, okay. one final question. Um, the the so-called ascension movement you know nothing of, of it. Is, I don't make you know so, nothing of it. Nothing of okay. it. Okay. Thanks. Can't hear you. Cannot hear you. <laughs> if some of you are short and can't get up and see the artifacts, I'll try and explain them. Uh, but I ask you once again, please don't handle them.